Hello and welcome back. So in the, today's video we are going to do lab 35 that is um, creating PGP certificate. So pretty good privacy. Uh, it's a standard for encryption and I guess it's gonna be a quick one. Alright so if you want to follow along in your machine here are the instructions. And here are the rest of them. Yep, that's all. All right, so let's get started. Fire up our Kali machine. All right, so Kali is on. I believe it's going to be everything in terminal. So there is no prefix or anything you have to run this command if you're I, I want to say if you have Kali this is gonna be pre install by default if not then somebody has to go like if you want to you have to go and do search how to install GPG like uh, I did on Ubuntu all right so GPG gen key so basically what's happening is that if program already installed you're telling it to generate a key now it's gonna say real name I'm gonna pick my name and it's gonna ask me an email so I'm gonna give it a mon at mon dot com totally uh, make made up so it's gonna say for change name email okay quit type O and press enter O is for okay we're gonna do that Please enter the preference to protect your new key that will go with that privacy server. So it's asking us to put this in password. I want to see if it will take uh, a random one. So let's try one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to check if it has um, default protection like a combination minimum characters edc and insecure passphrase at least eight characters long take this one anyway or end a new what we can do is we're gonna try one two three four five six seven eight let's see what it it accepts it or say something otherwise i guess it took it yep all right, so we have the command prompt, a turkey. We're gonna go and try to uh, this text file with a secret message that you want to encrypt. So we're gonna file echo basically will echo Imran YouTube. We will send it to a file that is in the root directory to as encrypt txt if i ls it i want to see that file that right there encrypt.txt if i cat it it should show me my message um encrypt.txt yep everything seems good So no such file or directory. I have it right there. Let's see cat you know, on YouTube. So I have my text right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to encrypt it. GPG switch E for encryption, recursive. Uh, so what is the password? Why is it saying James? This is gonna be James. Okay. So that's the user ID, James. You know, make it encrypt.txt. No public key. Following command to display the encrypted data. Cat. Let's see. It's it's done. It's not encrypted. 
did we miss anything? Mm. I don't think did we put James as username or something else? James. All right, that is why. So I had it under my name. Now it's encrypted. Now if we do the cat. Uh, actually, let's go. <laughs> oh, in rep.tgc, mine was ls. Oh, yeah, it's okay. So basically, it created two files over here. One is this, this one. The other one is that. I need to rename it. So now we're going to try to open the encrypted file that would be cat gpg and we should get the garbage now we're going to decrypt so for the decrypt we're going to go with gpg for switch we're going to use the d dash r Dash O, okay. Open. Okay, now we go with decrypt dot txt from rep.txt dot gpg and when it's asking me password I'm gonna enter one two three four five six seven eight <coughs> press ok encrypted created blah 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 now we're gonna again do ls we have decrypt right there oh shoot I okay <laughs> Look at the file name. Okay, ls. Now I'm going to try to open the decrypt. And I have my text back. Like this uh, lab. All right, so. I hope it evaluates it and does not make me rename it. Okay, it's gonna make me rename that. Uh, so I'm gonna try uh, MV. All right, so it did not take it. I changed this as well. Encrypt. Txt. G. P. G. And. I have do I have encrypt.txt.gpg? Yes, I do. So the only thing I can think of is maybe it's reading the file itself. I'm gonna go or I'm encrypt is gone, right? And or I'm decrypt on TXT. I'm gonna echo you certify into Encrypt.txt and I'm gonna echo you certify as decrypt.txt and I'm gonna try to submit it again. 
yes so it was reading the actual file content all right <clears throat> i hope this video has helped you i really enjoyed this one um good job you certify all right so i if it has please read comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one